Hey folks, welcome to this video on how to get started with SonarLint. Now this video is targeted at Python developers, so we are going to be showing you how to do it in both PyCharm as well as VS Code. First up, we have PyCharm. So here I have my PyCharm window open, and what I'm going to do is head over to Settings. The first thing I'm going to do is type in Settings into my Search Everywhere bar and head over there. Inside of Settings, we can head over to Plugins. And once we're in Plugins, we can head over to Marketplace to search for our plugin. We can type in S-O-N-A-R or Sonar. And we're going to see that it's the first search item with 5.9 million downloads. So we're going to go ahead and install that. While that's installing, you can take a look at an overview of what it does or what's new on the plugin information page. And once our installation is complete, we are going to have to restart the ID. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Once SonarLint has been installed, you'll be able to see the SonarLint icon on the left-hand side. And if we click it, we can see all the current issues in our current file that SonarLint says that we should take a look at. So let's take a look at the first one. Here, it's telling us to replace the is operator with the double equals, and you can see why this is an issue on the right-hand side. More info leads you to articles about this particular problem. You can see that it's a code smell, and it's a major code smell, so we should probably do something about it. So I can head over to my file. I can see the exact issue, which is I should replace this with the double equals operator, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let SonarLint do that by hitting Alt-Enter and quick fixing it. SonarLint supports more than just Python. If you want to add JavaScript support in your project, what you can do is head over to Tools, and underneath Tools, you're going to find SonarLint. In SonarLint, you just have to make sure that you've added the Node.js path, and that will allow you to do analysis on JavaScript files. That's it for PyCharm. So let's go into VS Code. We can install Sonar by going to extensions, typing in Sonar, and the first result that comes up is what we want to install. Once we've installed it, we should see that there are changes now to our file. So if we head over back to our file, we should see that line 4 and line 10 are underlined. And we can see what the problem is. We can go ahead and quick fix this just like we could in PyCharm. And we can also see what's wrong with it. Lastly, we can also take a look at a more detailed description of the rule in question. And just like in PyCharm, we can also head over to more info to see what other issues are related to this particular issue. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.